Welcome to the channel, everybody. Level M Diecast, and we are bringing arguably our best, best segment here on the channel. This is Diecast Hall, episode number 25. Pa-ching! And of course, as usual, we do have a awesome, awesome variety of stuff. So we do have a bit of Matchbox that we're going to go ahead and kick off here. Um, <clears throat> just, uh, you know, marking off some stuff on the the needs list. This is the 50th anniversary logo for the Ford Expedition. Uh, this is from uh, 2002. Um, I did not have the one with the logo on there, 50th logo. So get this guy cracked out of there. This is a... They were doing some um, not good decos back in the day. And, of course, it's got red we uh, windows on it, which is just weird. But there is your logo. It was, quote, unquote, supposed to be a chase, but it, it really wasn't a chase. It just, if you happen to be <clears throat> luck of the draw, I guess you can say. Uh, next one up, we do have this uh, generic. Uh, this is the front-loading uh, trash truck. It actually has a couple of features to it. Um, again, just the logo on there. There's your 50th logo. So just marking off some ones I didn't have. So since I didn't have the logo one. So this one in particular is actually pretty interesting for being a small one. So um, <clears throat> hold on. Let me get some stuff out of the way. So this one, um, you see on the graphic on the side there shows you that it does lift and dump. So this actually does come forward um, and then it does lift up to allow you to dump and then of course you know it dumps like a dump truck on the back side here and you'd be wondering well what are you supposed to dump well it actually comes with a separate dump which is actually in the bed so there is your dump so you would drive up there's these two little forks in the front a little difficult to get that in there but the forks are there and then of course it would just lift up and then there you go it would dump it's uh it's it's a thing it's a thing it was a pretty novel idea to try to get a uh, trash bin, uh, you know, in the mix with the model in the blister. But I think they did an okay job. Of course, it was just a generic, so it's not fancy. Um, I believe this casting was only used twice, um, and then it was never used again. Probably um, partially just because of the cost, mainly. <clears throat> All right, we have a trifecta of variations here. So this is the F550 pumper. So we have a bunch of them here. This is more of the golden era of uh, Matchbox right here. Very, very nice. So there's a couple variations on, well, actually most of these have a couple variations. So on the back bed part here, you'll see that there's two little triangles that are above the rear wheel. See those do have some diamond plate printing on there or uh, diamond plating in the molding. So if we bring up these two here, you'll see the yellow one. That one does not have diamond plating. And then when we look at the white one, you'll see that one does as well. So again, right above the wheel in the little corners. So I have the opposite. Um, I don't know if every single release has both variations, but uh, most of them do. So just pick these guys up for that particular variation. Again, just the diamond plating on there. So it is a very... Very subtle, very subtle variation to find. Um, and sometimes you need like a whole bunch of models to look at to, to try to find it. Um, I don't, wouldn't say one's particularly rarer than the other per se, because I have no idea. But I know that they exist. See, this one does not have it. So a little bit of an interesting conundrum. And then crack open our last one here. Again, kind of the golden era of Matchbox back in the day. So... Very, very nice decals on there. Looks pretty good. So just a couple of those additions. Uh, and then two more Matchbox, again, for the logos as well. This is the Ford Explorer Sport Track. Again, 50th logo. Uh, this one is really, really cool. This was the second release of this casting. Um, this casting is super, super cool. So it has an opening tailgate, which folds down. And then you'll see there is a rubber band on here. So we're just going to get the rubber band off because we don't need to keep that. And then it does have the bed extender in there that does fold out. Uh, this was retooled, I believe, after the second or third release to no longer do this. Um, so that was a pretty obvious thing. Uh, the I believe the super fast one still had that functionality, but um, unfortunately, just kind of a bummer. It, really weird times. I mean, look at this. You have like a baby blue interior on this. 
Um, it's just really, really weird. Just really weird what they were doing back in the day. And then the very last one we have here, this is the International Pumper. This is uh, casting from around 98, I believe is when it debuted. I've always liked this uh, International Pumper. I think it's pretty good. Uh, 50th logo as well, right there on the front. Looks pretty good. 1998 Mattel. So there you go. We'll uh, resituate these because we got we got a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. So we're just going to get some cardboard out of the way. A uh, couple of Lucy's. Uh, did pick up this Blackwall Wonder Bread. It is a very near mint, but it is not mint. Uh, but it is extremely good condition. It's good enough to go in the collection, and uh, I'll mark it off as a good to go. Uh, a little bit of dirt back here. But you see some of the blueprint is coming off just a little bit, but it's not like all chipped up or anything. Uh, a little bit dirty. Uh, maybe it was displayed on a shelf. Just some basic deets there. The Combat Medic. So pretty happy to get that one. That one's kind of difficult to get uh, another black wall this is the forklift but this is the caterpillar forklift um, been looking for this one with the caterpillar embossed this was retooled uh, to take you know the caterpillar off of that take the caterpillar off the side here this particular one is Malaysia base there is also in Hong Kong base uh, but I do not have the Hong Kong base but I have the Malaysia base and of course it just goes up and down that's it no two stages or nothing like that but it's still pretty cool so very, very happy to get that. I've been looking for that one for a little bit as well. A couple of cool uh, Lucy's here. We do have some Yacht Ming, uh, but this was more than likely sold as a Speed Wheels, uh, just Exxon on the tanker, just made in China Yacht Ming. So uh, definitely late production run. But the cool thing is, is we also have this Tootsie Toy, uh, which is basically the exact same casting. So it's basically the exact same thing, exact same tanker in the back, um, based on the exact same truck. Just the casting is a bit different. So that one looks pretty cool. And of course, the Tootsie toy is just a China base as well. Uh, this is printed on there versus this one, which is a sticker. So those are kind of cool. So happy to add those as well. Uh, some upscale stuff. I, I got more Hot Wheels, guys, so don't worry. We're just going to get this out of the way. Uh, Para 64, so we'll just go ahead and get this little plastic off of there. We don't keep that little plastic. We'll just slide this off of there so that we can take a look at. Oh, it's taped on there. Taped. Uh, this is the Mitsubishi GTO you know, 3000 GT. It is listed both on there, GTO and 3000 GT. Puma, that looks pretty cool. Um, Pick this up for Pachin, 10 bucks. so it's a pretty good deal. Uh, anytime I can get a pair of 64 for 64 or less, or I'm sorry, pair of 64 for 10 bucks or less, uh, definitely going to jump all over that. So I think this one's pretty cool. It has a little bit of a, a little bit of um, a cast roll right there on the uh, rear bumper, which is pretty cool. So pretty happy to have this one. Just has a track down in the bottom of the box, which is kind of cool. Your Japanese uh, symbol there in the back looks pretty good because, of course, this is based on the right-hand drive. So this was the non-US spec one. So throw that guy in the back. Make some space. Treasure hunt. Um, I did not pay that. I paid a little bit less than that. But uh, the go-kart. This is from the 2000 Treasure Hunt series. This is number six. Came in this blister card here. I'm sorry, the Protecto pack. Just... Uh, Crazy, crazy protecto pack. So we're gonna get him out of the protecto pack. Maybe there we go. Okay, get that out of there. There is the treasure hunt. I have about uh, forty something different uh, go karts. So I don't have every single one, but I'm pretty close. Uh, shockingly, I did not have this one. So I've been looking for this one. So crack this guy open. Get him out of there. Of course, he has real riders in the back, but the front are just plastic. It says Treasure Hunt on there. It says Go-Kart. It is in gold. Is that drop it all over the place. There is your base deets. That one looks very, very good. Do like that one a lot. It's pretty nice as the Treasure Hunt for sure. Just a little guy. We'll put him on the top. Get some more cardboard out the way. Uh, another Hot Wheels here. I've been looking for this Bugatti for a long time. 
Um, if you guys are avid watchers of the channel, you know I do like 30s era cars. I don't I don't bring them to the channel because you know people don't don't like to see that stuff. Um, but I do pursue these. I've been looking for this irregular combination for quite some time. Uh, it didn't really matter to me whether it was uh, on blister or not because I'm just going to crack it anyways. So that is a brown back card, by the way, which is in very good shape. Was in very good shape. So there is the 37 Bugatti. So they do have this uh, blue section at the bottom with the blue one. Um, not really sure why they did this weird combination. I would assume that they were just trying to eliminate some parts in the factory. Um, it looks really ugly. It looks really ugly. But, of course, 100% factory release variation. So definitely like to pick it up. Now, I've never seen, I've never heard of the opposite of having a yellow painted cab uh, on a blue base uh, section here. But maybe that exists. I don't know. I've just never seen it. All right, moving on to some more Hot Wheels. Did pick up another Speed Machines. Um, I do collect this particular casting, the Jaguar XJ220. Uh, this is the second color. There's one in this one, obviously, in white, uh, pearl white. And then there's one in British Racing Green. Uh, they are the same decos on the side, just different colors. Some of the models on the back, of course, you guys know, uh, Speed Machines is coming back uh, in car culture uh, at the beginning of this year. It should be out at some point in time. So crack this guy out. Looks like the rear wheel was a little bit funky, but now it's good. So it looks pretty good. Those are the original cold mold uh, speed machine wheels. So they are two-piece wheels, but they, um, they're they just plastic. No real riders or anything like that, but they are two-piece wheels. This guy looks particularly good. Says 22 on the side. I like the Jaguar symbol. Some print underneath the hood, which is very, very nice. It says Jaguar. Jaguar on the windshield banner. Some basic tampos. Looks pretty good. No tampos on the back. But that one is pretty nice, so happy to have another one of those. So get some cardboard out of here, some more. Uh, picked up a old school Super Rigs, uh, Super Rigs from back in the day. Uh, this particular one with the hammer sled in it. Um, haven't haven't found too many of these lately. I'm still trying to find the older ones. These are some older releases. I do have the yellow one and, of course, this one right here with the military vehicle, but I do not have any of the rest of these. These two are kind of the cheaper ones, so I'll probably never pick those up, but these two are the better ones, um, so I'll probably pick those up if I ever come across them. This one is kind of interesting. The blister sits in this weird box tray uh, on this particular package, so there you go. That's how these are all packaged in there. It's just like a little box thing in there, and they glue the blister in there. So throw that down there. We'll get our blister open. Bring our giant truck out because, yes... These super rigged ones are quite large. This is the hammer sled that it comes with. It comes with a nice big fat tire on the back. A little bit of uh, tread on the side. Um, it is a five spoke. You can see that in there. Looks pretty decent. A little tiny pizza cutter style wheel on the front. It's a pretty cool one. Not I didn't buy it for the motorcycle, but it's still pretty cool. Um, obviously, we bought it for the truck. So we'll get the trailer. Popped off here, there is the hammer sled on the side, which looks pretty good. That's basically like what the real one would look like. Uh, this one does have a crane part. So this just comes out and snaps down. Get the, hopefully snap on there. There we go. So it snaps on there. And then, of course, it lifts the entire container off just like that. You can put the whole container down on the ground. So kind of interesting. Uh, container also opens in the back. Potentially, there we go. So, container opens up. We can put our hammer sled in the container. Close that up. Get them back on the truck. And, of course, it just snaps onto this truck, which is a big scale, giant, giant truck. Um, pretty generic, obviously. Very fantasy. Not as fantasy as the ones they make now, but it's still definitely very, very fantasy. There is the Deets. It looks still pretty cool. So I'll crack that on there and just snaps that on there. The trailer is all plastic uh, entirely, 100%. Everything is plastic on the trailer. And then, of course, the majority of the truck is plastic. It does have a metal cab. So we'll just reach way out here. Get that guy over there. Do some rearranging real quick. Just like I said, we got plenty of stuff to go. 
Get those out of there. Get that guy over there. There we go. All right, we do have some Auto World. Uh, very, very interesting Auto World. We do have this one right here. This is a Asia Special Edition. This yellow Toyota Supra. Uh, I have no no idea the deets about this. I just simply bought it online uh, because, of course, you know it's a Supra, and it's from Auto World. Auto World makes very, very good Supras. So let's go ahead and get a little slice in the box to get that open, and then see if the box wants to cooperate a little bit. There we go. Little uh, half half uh, blister thingies in there. Let's see if I can get this out of there. And this thing is like really in there. There we go. There we go. It's in this uh, trifold blister thing. I hate those. So we'll just get that, put that back in the box. Because it's never going back in the box ever, ever again. So close that up. But we are going to keep the box. I keep the box. Always keep the box. Just in case at some point in time, I decide I want to part ways with this beautiful yellow Supra. Uh, this is left-hand drive. So very interesting to see that it's Left-hand drive, but I don't know if Auto World makes this in a right-hand drive. But kind of interesting since it's the Asia Special Edition. Uh, this one looks pretty good. It's a little bit of uh, print detail on there. This was made for uh, Wall Bros, I think is what it was. Or W Bros. There you go. Made exclusively for them. There's the deets on the box. So this one looks pretty good. Does have some blacked out headlights, which is kind of nice, kind of black housing in there. Uh, does have opening hood. This one opened up pretty nicely. Get some light in there. Some very nice details in there. Auto World is one of the best in the business uh, for sure. Um, and now they're coming out with some great, great, great stuff. Always cool to see all the prints on the bottom. Looks like this was manufactured back in September of 2022. So that one is pretty nice. So we'll throw that guy down there. I got one more Auto World. Uh, this is the brand spanking new Dodge Conquest uh, casting. Uh, brand brand spanking new. Um, I only have one of the two colors. I think the second color is a silver or white color. Uh, but this is the only one that was out at the time. Um, I did buy this online. Didn't pick it up in store because the stores are still not stocking. Super, super stoked about this one. I've been... I've been wanting this casting for a long time since they first announced it. Um, I've actually come across almost buying a Conquest um, about 12 different times in my life um, and just ultimately decided against it. But definitely one of those things that I definitely regret not buying. So we'll see if we can get the plate in there. So it says Conquer on the plate. That's pretty cool. Wheels are very, very nice, very specific. I do like that. The casting looks good. Left-hand drive. Prints look good. Of course, it does have opening hood, which opens up very nice. Wow, there's, there's a lot of depth and detail into there. Look at that. That is fantastic. Very, very nice. Very nice. I'm definitely, definitely impressed. Take a look at our base deets. Looks like this was manufactured October 2022. Base details look very, very good. Of course, I like the exhaust up to the back too. Looks very, very nice. That is quite a nice casting for sure. Matter of fact, I want that guy on the top. All right, get this out of here. All right, there's still more Hot Wheels. I did pick up a new nine pack specifically for this Porsche, but I got lucky because I got a pretty decent pack. I also wanted this McLaren and that Porsche as well. So I actually got two for one essentially um i've already picked up a couple of these rymax i'm not really sure how i keep thinking i don't have it but now i have a bunch um and then just just some generic stuff in the mix so I'll just get this guy cracked open get that out of there of course we're going to go right for the 911 gt3 rs in blue does kind of have that weird looking flower wheel on it Nice prints on the top with a dual black stripes Porsche logo on there as well. And then, of course, it says Porsche along the rear wing, which is very nice. 
Uh, no prints on the back, but it does have that GT3 RS on the side. On both sides, looks very, very good. That one is fantastic. Always happy to add another one of these to the mix. Um, there's, there's only a handful of those I don't have. Uh, next one up, we're going to keep the 356. This is the newest one in blue. That looks very, very nice. It says Vaughn on the side. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's all right. I mean, it's a good casting. It's a really good casting. It's just, you know, we just get a lot of uh, relatively simple decos on that guy, which is kind of a bummer. And then, of course, our black McLaren P1. Very nice prints on the back with the tail lights. Very, very nice. The PR5s in uh, kind of a kind of a primer gray. And then, of course, headlight detail on there as well. Looks fantastic. Very nice. I do like this casting. I have almost every single one of these castings too. Almost. Not every one of them, but most of them. Um, and then, of course, you know, you guys have already seen the Rymac. And there's nothing new about this one. We have cracked this one, the Pagani. Um, this is also the uh, one of the Zamex for this year. Obviously, this one's not the Zamex. Uh, the other, only other licensed one in the mix is this uh, Pontiac. Uh, I think this is the Bonneville, I think. Um, might be just a GTO, but there's that one. It says Q on it, so some something with the main line. And then the rest of the stuff is just generic, so we'll just get those off the screen. Another Hot Wheels here. This is the most recent Batman series. Uh, I literally just dropped at Walmart. I literally just picked this up today. This is the mix on the back. This comes with that uh, uh, original or Michael Keaton version of uh, Batmobile that's in gold. Um, and then just some other stuff here. Um, I've, I've bought all the versions of this one thus far. So I figured I might as well just pick this one up. This is kind of like the battle damage version Batmobile. So... I like this one. It's uh, matte black, which looks pretty good. Of course, you have uh, you know tail light details on there, and that third brake light up there. But kind of the uh, beat up on the side. The prints look really, really good. Really like those prints. Kind of makes it a little bit three dimensional. So that looks pretty nice. And of course, just the chrome interior. But um, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. It's all right. Um, like I said, I just bought it because you know I've been I've been buying the rest of those versions. So. I figured, why not? All right. So I have to show you this one in a couple stages because it's just the way it works. So I got my RLC Dodge Tradesman van. So I already took the van out of this box. I'm just showing you the box because it's a pain in the butt. And then this is the model itself. And then this is the acrylic case. Now, I took the acrylic case off, which was extremely difficult, by the way. Um, and I'm sure that if you guys have seen other people crack these open, they have a very, very hard time getting one side or the other off on this acrylic case. So I didn't want to do it on, on a video because it would just look ridiculous. So I actually already did it. So boom, there is the Dodge van. Already cracked it open. Opened it all up. Looks absolutely fantastic. Have a bed in the back. All kind of that plush, plush carpeting and and all that uh, velvet and whatnot on the inside of the doors looks fantastic. Of course, two sets of opening doors, so got to make sure you don't uh, mess up the Spectra Flame. There's a little couch in there, a little lounge area, you know, full on shag and wagon type type style here. Total seventy shag van, super 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 cool. Details in the front look fantastic says rockin on the plates does have a sunroof on it as well and that purple spectra flame is just absolutely incredible looks unbelievable the doors do close very nicely there's the details on the side all that striping looks fantastic really really good and make sure you close the doors in sequence order of course it is the dodge tradesman so you do have dodge on the back those signature tail lights of course it says rockin and of course you have more louvers on the uh, back windows which is just absolutely super cool just awesome i just really like it just super super cool it's just such a cool one so let's put that guy right there on the side 
All right. So you guys know we do monster trucks. I got a whole bunch of monster trucks. Uh, this is a mixture of two separate cases that kind of hit together. Uh, brand new casting. This is 1956 Hightail Hauler. New for 2023. There is this particular mix. Should you want to know what is in the mix. Get this guy cracks open. Get all of our stuff out of here as normal. These do come with those hard plastic cars. They're not crushable. This is the sedan in blue. And there is our Hightail Hauler. 1956 Hightail Hauler. Uh, this is, uh, you know, from the Hightail Hauler. From the uh, early Blackwall era. So this one looks pretty cool. Definitely a faithful representation. Of course, it doesn't have motorcycles in the bed, though. But it looks the part. Um, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I think it looks great as a monster truck. So it's kind of cool because the casting's a little bit smaller. So it doesn't look so uh, unbelievably out of place. But that one's super, super cool. So uh, we're just going to kind of bury everything in the back, I guess. Probably should have done the monster trucks first. All right, Red Planet Ranger. This is the recreational. This was a new casting about two years ago, I think. Um, this is decoed up with the same Red Ranger deco that uh, the Super Rig was from the beginning of 2022. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like them tying that in. Uh, it's something that um, Matchbox has been doing for a long time. Looks like Hot Wheels is going to start doing the same thing. So crack these out. Get the plastic and stuff out of here. This one comes with the exact same blue um, sedan as the other one did. So nothing new on that. This is the recreational. This one looks absolutely awesome. Look at the details on the side of that. Kind of beat up. Kind of looks like it was hit by some meteors and stuff like that. It looks super, super cool. This is one of the coolest monster trucks they've done in a long time, in my opinion. Uh, orange on the tread. I do like the wheels. It looks fantastic. Of course, Red Ranger on this side. There is your access door. Prints on the back look fantastic. It says monster trucks on there. There's your details on the front. It's a uh, satin finish to the whole model. So pretty much absorbs all that uh, reflection for the most part, which looks super, super cool. So I like that one. Uh, this one's a bit of a heavyweight too because it's, it's a decent sized casting. Speaking of heavyweights, uh, this one's not a heavyweight, but the... Uh, Premium versions of heavyweight. This is the Volkswagen Drag Bus. Brand new for 2023. This is the deets on this one. So there is the mix. I do have the Drag Bus, the Corvette, the 5 Alarm, and the Loco Pump. Or Loco Punk. Um, we're going to take a look at all of those. Get the plastic out of here. So much plastic. Plastic and cardboard. This one comes with the... Kind of the dune buggy um crushable car in green so there are a couple different ones there is our uh volkswagen drag bus i do like this one a lot it has a lot of that checkered flag on the side full deets on the front look very good hot wheels on the side there says monster trucks of course in the corner very very nice i do like the kind of carbon fiber looking top to it looks very very nice Deets on the back, tail lights are done up. Of course, it doesn't open because it's the monster truck, so it doesn't open. But that one looks fantastic. The deets on the other side are the same. So that one looks pretty cool. So we'll throw that guy down there. There is our five alarm in all of its ridiculous gold glory. This one comes with the um, station wagon in orange. So three different ones so far. There is our five alarm. I do like all the gold on this. And then it has like golden flames on the side of it. It looks really, really good. Looks fantastic. Really just shines with all the reflecting in there. Looks pretty good. Of course, all your gold, uh, you know, gold tinted plastic, which is most of it does have an, a ladder that moves up just a little bit. Not a lot. There is some print on the top there. So a little bit of print there. And then, of course, it says Hot Wheels uh, MT at Monster Truck Fire Department. That's what that is. So Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department. And then it is number 68 because, of course, since 68, 
Of course, it's number 68. So that is pretty cool. Just it's just a unique, unique casting. This looks it looks it looks pretty cool. Speaking of unique castings, check this guy out. Loco Punk. That one looks pretty cool. Of course, this one is number 68 as well. This one comes with the coupe, like the GT coupe, I like to call it, in red. So, again, another different version, another different casting. There is our local punk. Uh, kind of interesting that it's orange and blue, kind of an odd combination of colors. Um, the orange is the only thing that's metal, though. This uh, blue cab and all that stuff is all plastic. So this one is relatively mostly plastic. Does say 68 on the side. Again, same deets side to side. I do like these covered up wheels. That looks kind of cool. And of course, a orange and uh, dark, dark blue base combination. So that guy's pretty cool. It's, it's an interesting one. And then the last one is the Corvette. This is the 80s Corvette. Uh, this was available in a two-pack, uh, I believe, last year, uh, potentially the year before that. So this is obviously not new for 2023 because they've released it before. But I did not buy that pack because I had the other one in the pack. And now I'm lucky enough to get this one um, without having to you know, get an extra monster truck that I didn't particularly want. There is our Corvette. That one looks pretty good. Does say Monster Vet because of course it does. It says Cliff, Cliff Starbird. There you go. Uh, and then just uh, chrome on these wheel covers. They are pretty scratched up. I mean that's directly from the blister, so that's just kind of the way they are. It's probably because they get thrown in a bin, um, and then they just get grabbed out of the bin to be assembled. There is no plate or um, tail lights or anything like that on this model just on the sides nothing on the front or anything like that so very minimum on the deco details but i still think it looks pretty good so we're kind of running out of room on the on the on the screen here but we do have a few more items let's see here yes i didn't want to do a separate video for this because i really didn't feel like it needed it the chaser was different the chaser was different this one you know, Hot Wheels has made a bunch of 300 SLs, and, you know, this is just another one. You just kind of, you know, they keep kind of upping it, you know. You had basic range, and then you put it in, you know, premium, and then you did an RLC one, and now you're doing this elite one. So they just kind of go up and up and up and up. So we'll just get this guy cracked. Of course, Elite 64, there is the blister. It does look pretty good. I like the shininess of it. it. Looks cool. And of course, this is number one. So this one actually comes before the chaser. There is some deets for your SL right there. Produced 1954 to 1957. Inline six cylinder with a four speed manual transmission. So we'll just go ahead and get this guy cracked. Kind of push it to the side, pull the car out. I do, I do keep this, um, not not because I'm going to sell the car, but like I've come across a lot of people that even though they're getting something that's loose, um, if it's something like an RLC or premium or something, they want uh, they want the package. It's just weird. So this is our SL uh, Hot Wheels Elite. Like I said, I don't really feel like I needed a new video. Or its own video um because hobbles has been making a lot of sls but the details look fantastic it does look pretty good i do like the mirror details on the top uh the deco looks pretty good uh these are completely different castings from the other sls so this isn't just a modified rlc casting or anything like that of course made in china because of course everything is made in china and then it does have opening doors with a nice roll cage in there which looks good this particular one is uh, left-hand drive, so the doors work fantastic. So there you go. There is your gullwing stance, looking very, very nice. That is pretty cool. The doors work fantastic, by the way, like, like really, really good. Like the doors look really, really good, work really, really good. So uh, let's let's see here. 
Not a whole lot of space back there. Let's just, uh, let's see here. We'll put that guy up there, and then we'll put our Elite 64 right there. So, there you go. That is Diecast Hall number 25. Um, I'll give you guys a heads up. I do have a lot more stuff coming in separate videos. Um, I do have an enormous amount of green lights, so uh, we are going to be bringing SD Truck Series 17. I also have Hitch and Tow Series 27. I got Dually Drivers Series 11. I have Hitch, uh, Hitch Home Series 13. And um, I have a bunch of other stuff still on the way. But this, this gets some uh, miscellaneous stuff out the way. So let me know what you guys think about that stuff. Uh, let me know what you think about the monster trucks. Um, I know they kind of just take up the whole screen every time. They just kind of dominate everything. But um, I like monster trucks. I like monster trucks. Um, not all of them, but most of them. So there you go. So drop a comment. Let me know. We're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Love